Hi, this is Rick Henkin, and in this video we'll be discussing the best screen resolution to design for. Designing a site that looks good and performs well for the majority of your visitors is a tall order. How do you decide what's the best screen resolution to design for? First, what's the difference between screen size and screen resolution? Screen size refers to the size of a computer monitor display measured diagonally in inches. Screen resolution is a number of pixels that fit on an entire screen. For example, an 800 by 600 pixel screen is capable of displaying 800 distinct dots on each of 600 lines. Let's say you have a notebook with a 15.1 inch screen. As you increase the resolution on your display from 800 by 600 pixels to 1024 by 768 pixels to 1280 by 800 pixels, everything on your screen seems to get smaller. If you increase your resolution even more, eventually everything will be so small you won't be able to read it. On my PC, the differences are subtle. You can see the resolution changes more in the vertical dimension. I have a 20-inch Macintosh with 12 resolution possibilities from 640 by 480 up to 1680 by 1050. On that screen, the differences are much more noticeable. The reason, of course, is that while your screen size remains the same, you're trying to jam more pixels into the same space, so your pixels are smaller. Now, if you were using a larger screen, everything might still look fine as you increase the resolution size. This is because a smaller screen set to specific pixel dimensions has a higher resolution than a larger screen set to display at the same pixel dimensions. Is it possible to design a website that looks the same in every browser, screen resolution, and operating system? No. Not only do we have multiple combinations of browsers, screen resolutions, and operating systems to contend with, the individual user has the ability to manually change the settings on their own computer and may not even choose to maximize their window size. So forget about it. Which begs another question. What about placing items above the fold? Above the fold is a newspaper term that refers to the headlines and stories that are visible when the newspaper is folded in half as in a news rack. These are what sell the paper. In web terms, above the fold simply means the first full screen that a user sees without scrolling. We're speaking about vertical scrolling, not horizontal scrolling, which is a complete no-no. The truthful answer about placing items above the fold is you have no real idea where the fold is for a specific visitor. It depends on the screen resolution the user has set, as well as the screen size of their monitor. Bigger screens show more content above the fold and require less scrolling. Smaller screens show less content above the fold and require more scrolling. However, critical elements should still appear on that first screen. Elements that tell your visitor who you are, what you're offering, and why they should do business with you have to be seen on that first screen or you've lost them. Place your calls to action on the first screen as well, but avoid using the far right of the screen in case some of your visitors don't keep their screens at full size. Now, don't jam everything possible onto it. Just make sure that first screen conveys exactly what your website is about in as clear and simple language as possible. Rather than worry about where the fold is, make sure that your content is interesting and valuable to the reader. What's the most common screen resolution? A study by onestat.com shows that as of September 30th, 2040, excuse me, it's September 30th, 2008, 40% of all computer screens worldwide were using a screen resolution of 1024 by 768. If you look at just normal screens as opposed to wide screens, that percentage increases to almost 62%. The lowest resolution in their study, 640 by 480, accounts for only 16 hundredths of a percent of all screens, while the screen resolution of 800 by 600 pixels accounts for just 4% of all screens. Your web analytics program will give you stats for your own site, or you can try the free Google Website Optimizer. Should I design for a 1024 by 768 screen resolution? Unless your research tells you that your audience uses a specific screen resolution, not likely unless it's a company internet and everyone has the exact same computers and displays, the best choice is the design for the most common screen resolution, which currently is 1024 by 768 pixels. This doesn't mean that all other sizes should be ignored. Your website should look good and work well at other sizes, but look and work the best at the most common size. Do's and don'ts of designing for screen resolution. 
do use a liquid or flexible design with percentage widths that expand or shrink to the size of the browser window and screen resolution. Make sure to keep your text to around 60 characters per line even if you now have more space. Long lines of text are hard to follow. Test the website with different browsers, both at the current version and at, the, and at least the immediate prior version. Test the website at different screen resolutions. Test with different operating systems. Don't make the lines longer just because you have more room. Don't clutter the page because you have more room. White space gives the eyes a rest. And don't use images that are too wide as they may distort and or cause the horizontal scroll bar to appear. According to Jacob Nielsen, a renowned usability expert, the three main criteria in optimizing a page layout for a certain screen size are initial visibility, is all key information visible above the fold so users can see it without scrolling, number two, readability, how easy is it to read the text in various columns given their allocated width, and three, aesthetics, how good does your page look when the elements are at the proper size and location for the screen size? Do all the elements line up correctly? That is, are captions immediately next to the photos, etc.? You should also compare these three criteria at different screen resolutions, both smaller and larger. As displays continue to get larger, a 1024 by 768 pixel screen resolution may not be the most common in the future. At least twice a year, check your site statistics to see what screen resolution size most of your visitors are using. This is Rick Henkin, and I hope this video has been helpful to you.